Well, Christmas is almost here, and I thought in preparation for our holiday house tour today, I was going to gild a couple of gourds that I had left over from Thanksgiving and make one of them into uh, a floral arrangement. And so before our holiday house tour, I thought I would give you a tutorial about how to uh, use gilding and how to gild a gourd and use it for Christmas. You can either use them as beautiful decoration or um, you can use them for centerpieces. I have chosen three gourds that I had left over from Thanksgiving and of these three, the biggest one I'm going to use as a vessel to do a floral arrangement in. So I have carved that out and I've cleaned out the inside and we're going to line that with some paper towels and some tin foil and then we're going to put a vessel in there for water that will hold the flowers when I'm done. So the first step for gilding is you always want to wear a pair of gloves for this. And the supplies that you're going to use, you can either use a spray adhesive or you can use liquid sizing. Liquid sizing is fairly hard to come by these days. So I tend to use a liquid adhesive spray. I'll decant it into a plastic container like this that allows me to brush it on rather than spray it on. And then you need sheets of gilding. Today I'm going to do copper and gold gilding. And these are very, very thin sheets of metal that you peel off and you glue onto the pumpkin. So today we're going to use gold and copper because that's a lot of the color themes that I've used for this Christmas. You can also do, uh, it also comes in a bronze and it also comes in a silver. And this large pumpkin we are going to do with the gold gilding and the two smaller ones I think we're going to end up doing with the copper gilding. So I've got my container of the spray glue and I don't want to overload the pumpkin. I just want a nice light coat of glue on the front of the gourd. And I want to brush a piece that's about the size of a square of the gild. And once it's brushed on smooth, give it a couple of seconds just to dry a little bit and become tacky. You can even try blowing on it. Once the glue has become tacky, you're going to lift out one sheet of your copper leafing. You're going to very loosely place it over the area that you rubbed with the glue. And with a very light finger, you want to tap it down. Now there will be some areas where the leafing will break and that's okay because that's going to be part of the look once it's all done. Once it's all matted down, you can move on to the next piece. Lightly brush your spray glue or your sizing on the gourd. Grab another sheet of leafing. And this is the reason that you're going to wear gloves when doing this because you're touching glue. So you are going to get some of the leafing on your fingers. You want to press it down into the grooves of the gourd. And just continue on. Now we've got our gourd to this point where it looks very rough and uneven and it doesn't look great, but that's how it's supposed to look. We're going to let it dry for two or three minutes at this point, and then you're going to take another one of your dry, clean brushes, and you're just very lightly going to start brushing all of the gilding so that it's flat on the pumpkin. And some of it may brush off. Some of it may move around, that's okay. 
but you want to make sure you're getting a really nice smooth surface on the gourd. So the second gourd I'm going to do is this little one and we're going to do the two smaller ones in gold that are going to go with our floral arrangement in the copper one. But same process, I'm just going to brush the glue on very thin let it dry for a minute or two. So this particular type of gold leafing is actually adhered to the paper and it makes it a little bit neater when you're working with this because you're going to put you're going to push the gold leafing onto the gourd with this protective paper and then slowly peel it off and we're just going to keep going around and doing that. So we've got our finished copper gourd and I'm going to create a beautiful floral arrangement inside of it that's very Christmassy but untraditional and I've picked some beautiful flowers right out of the garden to do this with. So we have finished our display for Christmas of our gilded gourds. We've got our copper gourd and the two gold ones. And I've got it paired with some other things that I collect and some things that are meaningful to me for the holidays. And in just a moment, we're going to be going live to take you through a holiday house tour of our home. Thanks.